Being shy isn't a bad thing, but if it's a significant roadblock in the path to social stardom, then get rid of it. But how? Well, to your pressing question, we have all the correct solutions, which will be discussed in today's video. Here are 7 not-so-secret ways to stop being shy and awkward. I got you. Number 1. Don't advertise First thing first, don't put a speaker to your shyness. Unless you label yourself as shy and an awkward person, nobody's going to know. People who are close to you who fall into your comfort zone will know and that's fine. But strangers? New friends or potential romantic interests? They don't need to know. When people notice that you are quiet, they will presume that, hey, this person's probably an introvert, and that's fine. But if you tell them that you are just awkward and shy, well, that's like letting others water down your unique individuality to a single trait. Talk about it in a casual tone, lightheartedly if the secret does come out. If you are uncomfortable and your reaction is going red in the cheeks, just say that, ah, for me, it's just so easy to blush. But don't equate your reaction with shyness. Number two, be in the moment. During a conversation, a meeting, any sort of interaction, you name it, be present. The other person will notice when you are not paying attention. Frequently, people are prone to mental multitasking where they listen to the conversation and think of something to say or look away or even about their next meal. Avoid losing focus. Concentrate on what the speaker is saying. If you can't maintain eye contact, look at their nose or in between their eyebrows. These strategies will deceive the speaker and make it look like you are maintaining eye contact. But we both know you are not. Practice the art of mindfulness which requires practice and little techniques like focusing on your breathing and the emotions you are feeling during an interaction. If you are thinking, what's that got to do with not being shy or awkward? Well, if you stay in the moment, maintain fake eye contact, nod and say, yes, I hear you. You will show the other person through verbal and nonverbal behavior that you are a confident human being who is fully immersed in the conversation, period. Number three, fake it till you make it. Ah, the age old advice, fake it till you make it. Feign confidence. Consider yourself a superhuman being who doesn't waver in front of anyone. If you're at a party or a meeting with friends, pretend to be the host, the funniest person in the room. Envision yourself as a person you crave to be. In doing so, you will take charge of the room and, who knows, might even come out as the host. Look, gestures can control and change your entire mood. A study shows that if a person smiles, they will induce happy hormones, that's serotonins for you, and in this way actually feel happy. See, a simple smile can bring a glow to your entire being. And hey, a smile is contagious, so if you manage to smile, you will get others all wide-eyed and tooth grins. Isn't the best feeling ever, basking in happiness with your friends? Nothing will push you to change yourself, to grow out of your blushy hole than yourself. You have got to take charge, control, immerse, and strike. Fake confidence and giggles for a while, and a time will come where you won't have to fake emotion. Practice, and I will soon see you on the other side. Number 4. Practice Practice what exactly? Now, wait a minute. It's no secret that when a person fears rejection, they will avoid it. And it's not just the fear of rejection that drives a person away from social situation. It's the fear of messing up their words in conversation or making others feel uncomfortable or annoyed. I truly understand that. It's okay to feel scared, but should it drive you away from socializing? No. Have courage, my friend. As we discussed earlier, feign courage and deliberately put yourself in a situation. Afraid of parties because of feeling shy and awkward? We are going to the party and you will talk to people there. Why? Because practice makes a man perfect. The more you talk to people, put yourself in unlikable interactions, you will observe, learn, reflect, and incorporate. It will help you grow out of your shell and take you places. Plus, like everything else, a conversation is an art requiring immense practice and hard work. If you run away from fear, it will eat you and isolate you. You have to wear your armor, watch its movements, and slay it by facing it. Number 5. Know Yourself Nobody knows you as you know yourself. Know thyself, mate. You know your weaknesses and strengths better than anyone. You know what sets you off, what makes you uncomfortable, and what makes your heart dance with joy. So, what are you going to do? Spend some time alone and understand yourself? But don't just list your shortcomings. No, 
you are more than just your flaws. You have to detail what you like, dislike, and motivate yourself to be confident. I mean, you are here. Watching this video means you want to learn how to switch off something you don't like about yourself. And that's a step. Good job. But now, it's time to get to know you. What makes you unique? Why do you think you are shy? Are you uncomfortable around people? Or do you dislike the sound of your voice or the way you dress? Locate and disengage. Understand that this is something you don't like about yourself. Make peace with it. Change it. Say, if you don't like the way you wear your hair, go for a new style and become comfortable with yourself. Because to be honest, in being uncomfortable with yourself, you will never learn to be comfy around other people. So believe, sit down, roll up your sleeves and make a list. It's going to be a long conversation. Number 6. Shut down doubts Stop highlighting all the negative things about yourself in that conversation with yourself. You are not weird when you talk to someone, your teeth are just fine, and no, no one's going to notice if you pronounce your S's wrong. When in doubt, sit down and go out. Look around you. See, it might sound cheesy, but too much of something, especially negativity, will drown you. Don't let the inner critic have complete control over you. Don't become your worst enemy. You have to learn to diffuse the bitter critic and listen to the side that trusts in you. If you had an awkward moment or a bad day as a shy person, it is natural to overthink and overanalyze it. But you have to learn to unlearn this habit. It is unhealthy and time is fleeting, just like small awkward moments. It's okay to have them now and then. You can cringe and learn to let it go. The other person doesn't even remember it. Push yourself to move on. Doubts will prevent you from smiling too wide or bonding with a potential long-term friend. Doubting your abilities, talents, and yourself will stop you from embracing a new beginning or shutting down a self-built hater. Plus, you can even talk to a person close to you about your doubts and ask them to encourage self-love habits. It will do wonders for your confidence and social skills. After all, it starts from within. Number 7. Invite Fun do you know what really makes a person break out of their comfort zone? When they are doing something they are passionate about. Nothing will make you talk as much as something you love talking about. Now, imagine doing something you are super into, say painting or shopping. Now, imagine you have a friend who you really want to connect with here with you doing your favorite thing. Won't you be excited telling them what to do, how to do it, and why you like to do it? Yes? Yes! See, invite fun, invite people to do your favorite activities with you. If this helps you feel comfortable and more interested in the conversation, commit to it. When a person sees you in your element, they will warm up to you and consider it safe to open up about their interests. In this way, you are not just helping yourself, but also the other person. Shyness isn't incurable. It is adorable and definitely not a negative trait. Still, as I said earlier, if it hinders your social skills and keeps you from chasing particular opportunities, you must tone it down. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and if you are new around, make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.